Welcome back everybody. I am uh, pretty excited. I am headed to pick up my buddy right now and we are headed up north. We got a long drive ahead of us tonight. Upwards of three hours. It's already almost seven o'clock so we won't be getting there until late. But uh, I'm hoping that the fishing is gonna be worth it. We're going for a, a species we haven't fished for yet in this channel. It could be a bust, which is a very good possibility or we might get on some fish. It's gonna be uh, hard to tell unless we try. So we're gonna go after it, hopefully get some fish. And uh, if we do, it's gonna make the trip that much more of a bonus. Also, I wanna thank each and every one of you that have uh, really followed me along on my journey so far on this channel. I just made a couple quick videos the other night and uh, we got some pretty cool stuff now on the truck. Got some puck lights installed, and uh, I gave you guys a tour of how I sleep in the back. And now we're getting back on the grind. We're gonna be truck camping as much as we can, and hopefully filming some pretty cool stuff. Spring is coming, so that's a plus. Um, it's definitely warming up. It's 41 degrees out right now, so that is, that's really nice. And we got some big things coming to the channel. I can't wait to show you. So thank you guys so much for your support. Honestly, it means, means the world to me and we're not that big yet I'm hoping to keep climbing the ladder but really it uh, it really does mean the world to me and uh, you guys are like a second family so I appreciate each and every one of you and I really appreciate the comments and everybody that subscribed and uh, I can't thank you guys enough so anyways I'm gonna pick my buddy Damien up we're gonna hit the highway and uh, we're headed north so I'm super excited and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So thanks for watching. Alrighty guys, we're on the road. Picked up my buddy Damien. And if you guys have ever followed along on JWD, I'm sure you recognize him. Oh, this wow. is yeah, this is his first time, I believe, truck camping, right? Yeah. So should be a good time. He's in for some good weather, it ain't gonna be bad. I'm anxious. And uh, we're headed north, so get up there probably around 10 o'clock tonight get settled in and uh, we'll be camping where I've been camping mainly probably the last uh, couple videos but we're leaving early in the morning to head north of there yet to go fish so should be a good time hopefully we can catch some fish and uh, see you guys up there well we're getting closer we know how to make a whole quick trip pity nice I do have it and then some Hormel chili with <laughs> Awesome. Beans. Yeah, should we do that or what? Yeah. Quick little easy little dinner for tonight. Snack. Yeah. Oh, there's Cheetos right there. Yeah. Alright. Quick easy meal tonight. Out of the truck. Alrighty, guys. Made her up north. And once again, this will be the third time now in the last couple weeks we've had to shovel this out just to get the truck back in. And uh, it's probably gonna take us a little bit, quite a bit of snow again, and we're gonna shovel it out, hopefully get the truck in there and not get stuck. Fingers crossed. My truck already has an issue with uh, the front end, driver's side. I gotta figure that out when I get home. Not sure if it's ball joint, if it's uh, caliper, brakes, what's going on, but either way, we're limping it. For the biscuit here and uh let's we'll see what happens we're gonna try digging this out and backing in and hopefully we get in get the truck set up and have a nice relaxing night watch a movie and just hang out make some uh chili cheese burritos as well so let's get to it throw the old clod hoppers on here All right. 
Definitely a decent amount of snow. More than I wanted to deal with. Got a lot of snow up here. Oh yeah. Get as much of it out as I can. Ready for spring. How about you, Damien? I'm ready. I'll be some last. I got it. We got it wide enough on the left side. Might have to go a little wider on the right. Yeah. All right, guys. It's pretty dark, but as you can see, there's a the truck. Have this is the third time this has been shoveled now. We've got a mountain, and uh, here's the where the gate was we swung it open we shoveled this quite a bit back in here i'm not quite sure how this is going to work out because the last couple times it's been pretty ruddy from the ice and whatnot but let's try backing in hopefully uh, get it situated and get all cozy in the truck make some food quick made her in and uh, yeah that's a good start I think we're gonna grab the jet boil out of the bag just for something quick and easy you're gonna make some Hormel chili on some uh, tortillas some cheese probably watch a movie in the process and uh, get a good night's sleep we got a big uh, big day planned tomorrow a lot of fishing a lot of jigging hopefully some uh, sore wrists by the time we're done hopefully catch some fish and uh, yeah, anyways, it's getting late, 25 degrees out. It's just about 11 o'clock at night, so it took us a little bit, but thanks for uh, Damien for helping me out too, get us in here and uh, get cozy in the truck here. Gosh, All right, guys, let's test these new lights out that we put in. Holy smoke, that is awesome, wow. dude. Them things are bright. <laughs> yeah, I can see. All righty, guys, we're in the truck. Got the jet boil, and we're gonna cook us up some uh, is it Hormel, Hormel chili. Hormel chili. Hormel chili on uh, just a tortilla shell with some cheese. Never cooked in the truck, I think we're gonna roll the windows down just to kind of keep the condensation on the down low. I'm gonna put this on really quick. You're supposed to be able to turn it and ignite it, and I have to light it every time. Hmm. It won't light. So I literally gotta. Holy balls, that is hot. I don't think you're gonna hurt it though. She's lit. You wanna hand me that GoPro actually? Sorry. Yeah. You gotta press the tongs in on the front. Now stop the other camera, please. <laughs> it gets to be <laughs> tedious. <laughs> Got our jet boil. Crack into some Hormel chili. All right, we got a window cracked. I don't recommend cooking right here, guys. But, I mean, that's just what we're gonna do for the night, so. First time cooking in the truck. Here we go. That smells delicious. It does. All right. You got it? Yep. She will not come out of there. Heck no. Super easy meal. I don't recommend doing this in your vehicle, but we do have windows cracked, so for tonight, I'm not worried about it. My, honestly, my biggest concern is uh, how much condensation this is going to throw out for like the headliner and stuff. We already got some of the reflecting stuff, not all of it, but all right, we'll start with one. We can always make another. You got a garbage bag? Yep. Thank you. We'll prop. Turn the heat down low. Whoa, wrong way. <laughs> Almost too much there. Right yeah. Set this on there. And then if you just want to stir that for a minute, please. Yeah. I'm gonna try grabbing our tortillas. Alright, I got tortillas. Alright guys, this is hot. Very. Okay. We're gonna turn that off. 
make sure she doesn't cook to the inside of this. I'm gonna dish uh, day up a nice hot chili cheese burrito and show them what we're gonna add to it. Go ahead. Some hot Cheetos. Got some flaming hot Cheetos. Nice. Make it a little crunchy. Got some cheese as well, shredded cheese. Actually, if you wanna dish that up. Yep. And then I'll open this cheese up. Oh, it smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. And there is like no condensation at all. So that is a sweet, sweet deal. It's a, that's a plus. I was a little nervous doing it for the first time in here. But uh, now that I know that, that's gonna expand the horizons for cooking meals out of my truck. Quick and easy ones. Uh-huh, there's some cheese for you. More? Perfect. That's good. It's super easy. We just stopped at Quick Trip. We didn't uh, really have a plan. We just kind of figured we were just going to stop and do it on the go. So, can't go wrong with some chili and beans, some cheese, and now uh, I'm going to spice it up a little bit with some flaming hot Cheetos. A little crunch and a little spice action. We'll see how it goes. There. <laughs> just dump <laughs> them on there. Yeah, I'll just dump them on there. Dump them on there. <laughs> Perfect. Good enough power for me. <laughs> See if I can get closed up. <laughs> I think we'll probably just smash these down, start a movie, just kick back and relax. And then uh, we got an early head start in the morning. Simple and good. You good? Yep. Definitely hear the no, crunch. That'll do for the night. Alrighty. I think these lights, guys, are gonna be definitely well worth the investment. They're pretty, like I said, they're pretty cheap, but they light it up in here quite well. I'm gonna grab myself now a tortilla. Throw a little bit of chili on there. Got the chili on there, throw some cheese. If you don't mind grabbing that, please. I'll oh, trade it. Yeah, perfect. Got some Cheetos. I'm gonna try to wrap this up. Alrighty. Nice, soft, gooey goodness. Actually, pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. That crunch is just a little bit of added. I don't mm -hmm. know. I like it though. It's that good. is good. Maybe something that be happening around the house even. <laughs> you want something super easy? There's a tortilla, some uh, cheddar cheese, flaming hot. Cheetos and then uh, Hormel chili with beans. It's pretty darn good. It's a winner. Easy too. It'll take us five minutes to get ready. Mm hmm. Right out of the jet boil right in the middle of the truck. <laughs> like I said though, I don't recommend it cooking in a vehicle. But we had the windows cracked and uh, the cooking's done. And the window's still down. It's getting yeah. chilly in here, so we're going to finish up eating. Roll the windows back up. Let the truck warm up again. Get the reflectix on. We're going to crank a movie. And I'll let you know what movie we're going to watch. And then we're going to set the alarms. Wake up early in the morning and uh, get to fishing. So stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. These lights are awesome. Anyways, we're going to kick back now. I'm going to turn the cameras off. Damien and I are going to watch the movie It. I know Jeremiah and I just started this last time watched it in one of the last videos but Damien has never seen it and uh, so we're gonna watch it we got the alarm set and we're gonna be getting up bright and early so see you all tomorrow and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you bright and early see you in the morning guys wow nice and bright wake me up morning everybody it's five in the morning 46 degrees in my truck
when I get going though, I'm gonna pull this stuff back, or pull the stuff off back here, and uh, start the truck. Hopefully it's not too full of condensation or frost, and then uh, <clears throat> we're gonna hit the road north. Four degrees outside, 46 in the truck right now. Ain't too bad. Put a rock on your finger and he vowed you a second chance. Built a house right by the coast. Alright, guys. Didn't film much on the way out here just because we had a walk and I was trying to get out here as quick as we could, but. Finally just punched a hole, gonna start jigging, and uh, hopefully get on some fish. All right guys, first drop down. Let's see what happens. All right, well, packing her up. Gonna move to a different spot, give it a whirl. Not much going on here. Go in a little bit deeper water and fish uh, probably the rest of the day. See what happens. No fish. Yet. Head to a new spot. We uh, punched a couple holes, fished for uh, maybe an hour and a half. It wasn't very long, but we only marked two fish and it was not the fish we were hoping for. If you didn't, uh, which you guys probably don't know, we were going for salmon and trout. And we are way north. <laughs> yeah. Way north. We are fishing the good old Lake Superior. And we were going for coho salmon, but the bite was not what we were hoping for where we first went. So now we're headed out to a different spot that I've done well years prior. Anyways, we will uh, let you guys know if we get on some fish and I'll uh, have the GoPro, I think we're gonna set the shack up now. We just made that mile and a half walk with the shack and didn't even use it. But we're definitely using it now because we're gonna be sitting there, I think, for the rest of the day. So hopefully get on some fish, see what happens. That was probably worth it too. Yeah. That no nothing on his truck. Alright, we are out here I'm trying to set the shack up. It's a little windy. And we got a lot of snow to deal with. Probably close to 14 inches. Spikes won't even reach the ice. We gotta shovel it. We're gonna get set up in here in a minute. Start jigging, hopefully uh, catch some fish. Yeah, perfect eater. All right, guys. Not the fish we were looking for, but that's a... Only took about 37 minutes hook sets. Oh, that's a smelt. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these or seen them, but uh, we're hopefully gonna get a pile of these. I'll do another video on cooking these guys. These are delicious. All right. I am gonna put a tiny little jig on. Try to find a little tungsten here because Damien's smashing them. Can't seem to hook one of these guys. They're flying up. Oh my gosh, well, finally. Just a little guy. Good little eater though. These are a weird little fish, but they are tasty little morsels. I'll cook them whole pretty much. I'll do a video on that for you guys. Them things are awesome. Throw some beer batter. Mm-hmm. All right, we're on the board. Finally. Looks like a little better one. Caught in the deucer. Get out of there. Better just get him on the ice. Your hook's in the deucer, I think. We got him. Oh my, that's, that's a, a big smell. That's a good one. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're looking for. Jeepers. Hey, he came flying up. I thought it was a damn salmon or a trout the way he came screaming up like that. It's the fastest one I've seen this entire time we've been out here. I'll take it. All right, finally. Had a little bit of a lull going here, guys. Nice little, another smelt. We got a pretty good pile going, as you can see. And we're just gonna keep plucking them. Probably uh, 
fish for a while yet, multiple hours, and then if we don't mark some bigger fish, I think we're probably gonna call it um, before it gets too dark this afternoon. Gotta get back, get Damien back, and then uh, I'm going camping again, so. Busy week. Very yeah. nice little smell. Add them to the pile. They are little, but they're still fun to catch. And they're dang good eating. There you pile go. of them. Yeah, take a bite. You'd be a dollar. <laughs> Little guy, but we'll take him. Little fish stick. You got a lot going on over there, man. Uh-huh. We're gonna keep plunking them. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Got quite the pile going. Finally, cheaper. little guy hit it on the jig right below the ice time to hit the road we gotta pack up it's almost four in the afternoon now we got a three hour drive and then uh, I'm going again tonight camping so we end it with I know we have over a hundred, I'm not sure exactly, but overall, it was a fun day out here. Not quite the fish we were hoping for, but at least it's something, we got some meat to bring home, so pretty stoked. Anyways, we're gonna pack this up, get back to the truck, and uh, see you guys after a bit. Oh. All right, back in the truck, and we are headed home. Didn't make that in too bad a timing. It's 4.10. 34 degrees out and the wind was really picking up when we were out there and uh, we should make it home by 7:30 ish which ain't too bad drop Damien off and then back on the road never ends the grind keeps going dropped off Damien we ended the night or I should say afternoon with 178 smelt we had no idea we had that many but we're gonna be eating good I'll definitely be cooking uh, some of them for you guys in one of these future videos and uh, yeah anyways I'm gonna end this video here hope you guys enjoyed it we had fun made some easy food did some fishing uh, didn't catch what we were hoping for but we ended up bringing a lot of fish home minnows but they, they're tasty so it was all right but anyways thank you guys so much i greatly appreciate all your support if you could give this video a like um, i would uh, really appreciate it thank you all so much love y'all and i'll see you next time